If you're new to Google Ads or just want to beef up your PPC performance, then you need to understand what quality score is. In this video, I'm going to be covering exactly what quality score is, how it can affect your performance and how it can affect how much you pay per click. Quality score is calculated by a few key factors. These include expected click-through rate. This is basically the number of people that Google expects to click through to your website once they've seen your ad. Ad relevance. This is basically how relevant your keyword, the search term that people are using and your ad text is to one another. So when you're writing your ad text, just try and make sure that you either talk about your keyword, use the keyword in the ad text itself or everything else just relates to one another. And the last one is landing page experience this is basically how easy it is to navigate your landing page how relevant the content is on your landing page to your ad and the keyword and everything else in between quality score is on a scale of one to ten one being the worst ten being the best sometimes when you have a really new keyword in your account you have a little dash instead of a number next to the quality score but don't worry about this this is just where Google hasn't really calculated it yet, you haven't had enough searches, but over time, you should get a number show up there. So here is the breakdown of what each quality score means. Number one, this is the lowest score you can possibly get, and it basically means that your ad is rarely going to be triggered. Google doesn't really like what's going on. It either means that the ad text isn't relevant enough to the landing page, or the keyword isn't relevant to the ad text. You're gonna to have to figure that out and work out what to do, because if your score stays this low for too long, Google will ban your ad. Two and three. These basically mean your ad will be shown, but not as often as you would like. I recommend spending some time on improving these quality scores if these keywords are massively integral to your account. If they're not, remove them and move on to something else that's got a better score. Four, five, and six. This is the mid-range, so it's a pretty good score, and they're really common in the first few months of a new account. They've got a high amount of potential, so I recommend that you spend the bulk of your time optimizing these to really capture those higher scores. Number seven, this is a great score, so well done if you've achieved it. This is above average, so don't break yourself trying to improve it. This should be your benchmark. Eight and nine, if you see these, these are a rarity, so you've done something really good. Don't spend any time improving these. They're doing just fine on their own. 10, you are as close to perfect as you can possibly be in Google's eyes. You can be confident that your landing page and your ad text are performing incredibly well. So how does quality score affect your Google ads performance? Well, quality score directly affects something called ad rank. Ad rank is a value that determines where your ad is positioned. Unlike quality score, this value cannot be seen within your account. This is due to the fact that the value is calculated at the time of the auction. A new auction happens every time someone types something into Google. The auction takes place in the time it takes for that page to load, which is less than a tenth of a second. Depending on each auction, your ad rank can be massively different, but the one thing that can help improve those rankings is your quality score. Simply put, ad rank is calculated by your max cost per click multiplied by the quality score of that keyword. So, understanding ad rank effectiveness. To help you understand a little better, I'm gonna give you an example of how ad rank affects things at the time of the auction. In this example, there are five advertisers bidding for the same keyword in the same auction, but there are only four possible positions for them to take up with their ad. The five advertisers are Reese with a max CPC of nine pounds, but a measly quality score of one. Neil with a max CPC of seven pounds and a low quality score of three. Alicia with a max CPC of £6.25 and a quality score of 7. Carrie with a max CPC of £3 and a quality score of 5. And then Joe with a max CPC of £2 and an impressive quality score of 10. Remember, ad rank is calculated by multiplying your max CPC bid by your quality score. So using this calculation, Elise got position one, even though there were two advertisers in the auction willing to pay more than her max bid. But her high quality score meant that she was easily able to take the top spot. Reese, who although was willing to pay the most, is unfortunately lost from this auction due to his low quality score. Neil got the second place, beating a higher quality ad because he was willing to pay more. Joe, although paying the least of all the advertisers, gets position three because of his high quality score. Carrie is at number four with a combination of an average quality score and an average bid. So, with all that in mind, you should be able to anticipate what would happen if Neil spent a little bit of time on his landing page and improved his quality score to a seven. 
This would take his ad rank up to a 49, which would mean he's easily able to take the top position without increasing his max CPC bid at all. Likewise, if Joe let his quality score slip from a 10 to a 5, he would lose his position to carry. Actual CPC. Your ad position isn't the only thing affected by your quality score. Your max CPC bid is not the amount that you actually pay for a click, it's just the most you're willing to pay. Google Ads runs on second price auction. This basically means that you only need to pay enough to beat the advertiser directly below you, and quality score affects how much you pay. In other words, the actual amount you pay, your actual cost per click, is calculated by dividing the ad rank of the user directly below you by your quality score. To help you understand how this affects an auction, let's look at our original example. To calculate Alicia's actual CPC, you have to divide 21, the ad rank of the advertiser directly below her, by her own quality score of 7. So 21 divided by 7 equals 3. The actual amount Alicia will pay for a click is £3, which is much less than her max CPC bid of £6.25. Following this calculation, Neil's actual CPC is 20 divided by 3 equals £6.66. Joe's actual CPC is 15 divided by 10, which is £1.50. Carrie's actual CPC is 9 divided by 5, which equals £1.80. If the auction had five possible places for ads in this Google search, then Reese would get the fifth place, but since there is no advertiser below him, the price he would pay would be determined by Google. This could mean that he pays his full max CPC bid every time. You can see from this that bid really isn't everything. Alicia in position one isn't the one paying the most for a click. Her actual CPC is less than half the price Neil has to pay to remain in position two. So what happens to actual CPC when quality score changes? Like before, if Neil spends some time on his landing page and ups his quality score from a three to a six, his ad rank would go up to 42. This isn't enough to take the top spot from Alicia with an ad rank of 43.75, but it would lower the actual CPC that Neil pays. This means due to Neil's changing ad rank, Alicia's actual CPC will go up from three pounds to six pounds. Looking at Joe's position, if he wants to improve his situation, the only thing he can do is raise his bid. If he raised his bid from two pounds to four pounds, his ad rank would rise to 40. This isn't enough to take the second place from Neil, but even though he raised his bid, his actual CPC won't change at all, as he still only needs to pay £1.50 to beat Carrie. So now that you know how much quality score affects everything from performance to how much you pay, here's some quick tips on how to improve that quality score and get your ads performing like a pro. Analyse your campaign, ad group and keyword structure. Utilise the inbuilt hierarchy of Google Ads. So for example, have a campaign for each of your services or products. And within that campaign, have multiple ad groups that break down that service or product into its subcategories. So for example, if you had an online furniture shop, you would have a campaign for tables and chairs. And within those, you could have ad groups for dining chairs, armchairs and everything else. Structuring your account in this way means you're easily able to redirect traffic to relevant ad groups. This allows you to analyze the average quality score of that ad group. So you can pinpoint which are performing better and consolidate your keywords for better keyword relevancy. Improve your ad quality. Write relevant and compelling ad copy. Try to add your best performing keywords into your ad copy, whether that's in the headline or the description. If you have the time, create tailored ad copy for every single one of your products. Utilize ad extensions. Although ad extensions don't improve your overall quality score, they have been proven to improve CTR, which is your click-through rate. Ad extensions do exactly what they say on the tin. They extend the space that your ad can take up in search, and they give your users additional information. Try to use as many ad extensions as you can. Site links, callouts, and structured snippets are a good place to start. Review your search term report. If you want to optimize your ads in any way, including improving your quality score, then the search term report is your best friend. The search terms report shows all of the queries that people have typed into the search engine and then clicked on your ad. This is important to stay on top of, especially if you're using a large amount of broad match keywords. You can exclude non-relevant keywords here by adding them to your negative keywords. 
This will help improve your quality score because it will prevent your ads from showing up on non-relevant search queries. And lastly, optimize your landing page. Optimizing a landing page for PPC is very similar to optimizing it for SEO. Add your keywords to your title, your content, and your meta descriptions. Plugins like Yoast SEO and Rank Math can help you do this. Don't be afraid to create a specific landing page for each of your ad groups. So I know that that was a lot of information to digest, but if you've got to the end of this video, well done, because you're well on your way to improving your quality score. If you want to learn more about Google Ads, then like, subscribe, and comment below for more content from us.